Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Final Fantasy X-2. We're inside a hole in the Thunder Plains right now playing a little puzzle game. And um, in the middle of it, I stumbled upon this key item, Corpus Invictus. Now, if you're looking for this, I can try to give you a rough um, position of where this is. Uh, it's very tough actually to really know, but it's like inside a corner like this. It's a dead end. It looks like a dead end, but um, uh, you can see how where, where I am on the mini map, right? Yeah, it's at this area. So it's almost on the far right hand side of the entire map. It's just go down here into a little opening and a dead end. That's the best description I can give you. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean. Let's see... Yeah, that's pretty good, I mean. The last gate I opened was there, and... I'm gonna try to open the next gate. Let's see... What we have. Okay, so it gives you a hint based on the, um, gill. But since we haven't fought any random encounters because of Charm Bangle, there's no gill earned whatsoever. Now for my wall 7, I had 86 which was my um, wall 10's number, plus the number of battles, um, which was 0, plus the number of gill, which is 0, and I'm going to write 14 down. So for 14, I'm going to put what my wall 11's code, which turned out to be 462, and I'm going to write down my wall 12's code, which is 974. Okay, so we're going to enter for wall 7's code, 86. Bing. Okay, <laughs> uh, I'll see you at the end of this puzzle. Hello, we are at the very end here. Let's pick up this chest. Bing, we get the salvation promised garment grid. Yes, all that hard work for our garment grid. That's right. <laughs> Let's get out of here. So for this, um... The code, the, the code for, for wall 4 is 1, is, I think it's always 1. And 16, I have 882. And uh, 882 plus 877 is... 1 is 9 here. 5. And... 6. 7. 1. Got it? Alright. <laughs> I just did it in my head. Which I am... You know, I'm pretty terrible at, especially at night. So, four was one. It's always one. And we're done. Um, actually, we're not done. <laughs> Fooled you, didn't I? We actually want to do it again. Yeah, you heard me. You heard me. We want to go out of this place, and we want to do it all over again. As in, go out, go back in, start from square one, and do it the whole thing by talking to this guy all over again. You know why? Because now we can get an accessory by doing this. Again, nothing percentage related, but we will get an accessory by the end. I will see you when I get there. Okay. Whew. We're at the end of the second time doing this, and let's just get this done. Okay, it's 274, my code was 304, so would be 578. Open! And the code for the last wall is always 1. So, open! And a chest will magica magically appear over here. Grab and we get the Force of Nature accessory. We have successfully completed this mini game. Yay! Let's check out this accessory. Adds all elements to attacks and turns all elemental damage to HP. Really cool. Um. Don't want to use it? Not really. <laughs> I just wanted to get it for the heck of it. Totally your choice for doing this. As uh, Same for the garment grid one. But I would actually advise getting that garment grid. Pretty cool. Alright, now that that's done and over with, we can uh, finally move on with what we really wanted to do here in um, 
the Thunder Plains. Okay, remember about two episodes ago we went down to Clasco's ranch and I was checking on my chocobos? Yeah, and remember how I said you're supposed to catch a bunch of chocobos, come back to Clasco and see how many of them are level 5? Mm-hmm. We're doing that right now. And my advice, catch like 10 or 12 or something chocobos, go back to Clasco, check their levels, and release any of them that's that's uh, max level is not uh, 5. So if it's max level is 4, 3, 2, or 1, release it, and keep the ones whose max level uh, is 5. Then keep on doing, go, doing the process over and over until you get 4 max level 5 chocobos. And then I will show you where to go from there. Um, I'm just gonna start off by uh, maybe catching a chocobo right now. And let's see if I can meet one. So instead of using Charm Bank, we're gonna use the exact opposite accessory called Lore Bracer. And what's, ca what's gonna happen now is we're gonna walk around, find some chocobos. Let's see if I can find one. Or let's just save up right now anyways, because I just finished that minigame. And I don't feel like doing it again if something were to happen. <laughs> so now you just want to walk around and see if you can find any chocobos. Alright, um, pretty self-explanatory. I will see you when I find a chocobo. Okay guys, um, I have a chocobo with me right now. And... Just as usual, we're going to throw a uh, Gizal Green at it. And we're going to use an Alchemist to throw it, so it casts faster. Let's see if we can heal up a little bit. <laughs> okay, kill off all the enemies, and once everything is dead, you toss another Gizal Green at it. That's all you need to do. Okay, so you want to repeat this process maybe like 10, 12 times until you caught a bunch of chocobos and go back to Classical's ranch and check up on them. Um, yes, it's a very boring, very tedious and grindy process, but <laughs> it's probably going to take you like a couple of hours to do too, but you know what? If you want that 100% in one playthrough and you, if you want that trophy, um, you got to do it. No choice, okay? Um, once I have caught myself some chocobos, I will meet you back at Classical's Ranch to see how many of them can be leveled up to level 5. I will see you then. Okay guys, we are at Classical's Ranch right now. I caught, I think, 12 chocobos. And I'm gonna check on, uh, actually first things first. Remember the uh, chocobo we sent off to Bicano? Yeah. Let's get news from Clasco of what ha happened to it. Well, I know it's gonna have escaped, but you know. Looks like it ran away, it's fine. All right. Now, it always runs away, so don't worry about that. And now that it has run away in Bikino Desert, we have discovered a new portion to start digging. We'll get to digging later on, but for now, I just wanna check my choker books. All right. So, what you wanna notice is I've shown this before. I've shown this before, but um, level, nature, and max level. Level is only o always going to be one when you first catch it. Um, nature, it doesn't really matter. So for us, when we're catching in the Thunder Plains, it's going to be mostly bold. Now, if you find that the chocobo encounter rate in Thunder Plains is not very high, you can always try another place. Like you can try Kilika. You can even try like uh, Besaid anywhere. Basically, what you're looking for is that max level. As long as it's 5, we can keep it. Otherwise, there's really no point of keeping it. So, that one was 4. 4, oh man. Come on, give me some 5s. <laughs> there we go. So, Choco Runner 4 is Nature's Bold and it's Max Level 5. This one we definitely want to keep. So, just remember that. Alright, let's check the rest of our Chocobos. I caught a lot of them. <laughs> Took a while, but... I got it done. Okay, max level is 1, don't want. 4, don't want. 1, don't want. 
yeah, it's a pretty tedious process, both catching and like examining and then releasing. <laughs> well, gotta do it. Yeah, let's check the other side. Like, I don't know how lucky you'll be, but this is the lucky process because to find level 5 uh, chocobos, it's not always common. You know? In fact, it's quite rare. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like out of all the chocobos we caught, only one of them had a max level of 5. Which is fine, we can just repeat this process. So, um, during releasing, you want to be really careful. I'll show you why. So, you you have to release the chocobos that you don't really want. So we, we know that Choco Runner 4 is the chocobo that uh, is max level 5. So we start from um, the reserves and just start removing. And now notice that every time you release something, the, one, the chocobo at the very end of the list will replace the one you just released. So what's going to happen now is say I release um, I release one again that means Choco Runner 6 is gonna replace one right and now if I select one again we really would have released the runners um, I mean not runner Choco Reserve 6 right and now 5 replaces one and if we release one again um, it was really 5 from before you get it and that's why you have to be very careful when releasing because um, you think you might be releasing something that's like you don't need but sometimes it gets replaced and you, you might be releasing something important, so just just keep that keep that in mind. Now I'm gonna release Choco Runner One, and watch what happens. Runner Four filled the roster, which means number one now don't touch because we have already established that number four was the um, the max level five. But now level four got put into the um, number one slot, so we don't want to touch Runner Runner One. We release two and three. That's it. Um, let's check uh, these things. We got a bunch of greens. Yep, because I fought a lot of battles and get some Gizal greens too. So, just to make sure we have what we want, we can just go back up here and all your runners are upstairs where all your reserves are on the left and right side of the ranch. Okay, max level 5. Nature is bold. Um, we'll keep that one. So we need three more, and we're gonna keep on repeating the process of capturing chocobos and releasing chocobos until we have four chocobos whose max level is five. Um, yeah, it's gonna take a while, depending on your luck. If you're lucky, then it wouldn't even take that long. But I'm just unlucky like that. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, I'm gonna resume recording when I have all five of my chocobos who are max level five. All four, excuse me. All four of my chocobos who are max level five, and. Um, it's going to take me a while, but for you, it's going to be like two seconds. <laughs> so I will see you when I am done with that. Okay, guys, we're back. And I did a little bit of more chocobo catching. And let's see what we have. Well, I already know what I have, but I'll just show you what I have. <laughs> so runner one is bold, max level five. Runner two is bold, max level five. Runner 3 is bold max level 5, and runner 4 is normal level 5. Okay, here is where the fun part begins. Uh, let's just quickly hop back down. We have all of our chocobos needed for this mission. <laughs> Not really a mission, but... Alright, so when I took a look at my Choco browser, I have 14 Chocobos. Now the more Chocobos you have in your ranch, the less likely it is that one will run away when, they, when you send them away somewhere. So obviously you want to fill up as many as you can or want in the ranch. Obviously you don't have to have like the maximum amount, 14, but it'll be, it'll be better. Just saying, it'll be better to do something like this. Okay. So now our four runners are all level one because we just caught them. They're still very fresh. And what we're going to do, okay, <laughs> is dispatch. 
and we want to dispatch. Now here is where you have to listen a little bit closely. Um, depending on the nature of your chocobo, you want to dispatch to different places. Now for me, I did most of my chocobo hunting in uh, in the Thunder Plains. Now if you did the same like me, then most of your chocobos should be bowed. Now once in a while you'll come across like a normal or timid cho chocobo, um, but that's fine too. I'll just I'll just explain it. I'll, I'll just explain it as well. So for bold chocobos, you always want to send them to calm lands. Okay? So we're gonna send all of them. <laughs> calm lands. Now you can also uh, send it to Jose Temple, but I think for consistency sake, I'm just gonna send my bold chocobos to calm lands. Now, for my normal chocobos, um, you want to send them to either Besaid, Moonflow, or Makalanya Woods. Um, just for simplicity's sake, I'm going to send my normal chocobo to Besaid. Okay. Now, if you have any timid, timid chocobos, you want to send them to either Kilika, Tem uh, Kilik Kilika uh, or the Thunder Plains. Right? I don't have any timid chocobos, so I can't show you, but just like what you did with the other up to be uh, sent to Kilika or Thunder Plains. All right, so now we have to wait until they come back. The best way to do this is, the only way to do this is to fight random battles. So what I do is I have a lure bracer equipped and I just go outside to um, the calm lands and I fight some battles. The number of battles you need to fight before your chocobos return is seven. So um, once I have fought seven battles, I will resume recording and we will see what happened to our chocobos. Okay? See you then. Alright guys, we are back after seven battles and let's check with Clasco. Oh, before you do any of that, I would highly advise you to save before you do this. Uh, I've already saved so it's okay. Uh, because if by any chance any of your chocobo run runs away, you can just reload the game and um, talk to them again. Like you'll reset and maybe this time they won't run away. But the more chocobos you have on the ranch, 14 is the maximum, uh, the less likely it is for your chocobo to run away. Alright, let's talk to him. So it's back. Runner 2 is back. Good. And you get a bunch of random things depending on your chocobo's level. Runner 3 is back. A lot of potions. <laughs> and 4. Cool. They're all back. Good. Now once they're all back, you're going to want to feed them. So see how their heart is 85? You want to feed 2 greens so um, their heart is back to 100. Because of course each green restores 10. So, two greens will put him back to 100. Okay, done with that. And now, we want to select this option, Raise Chocobos. And for each of our level 1 chocobos, see how it says, how it says next level 10. That means, means to level it up. And we'll just give it 10, and we'll get to level 2. And just level all of them. Uh, the amount required to level up is going to grow um, as your chocobo levels up. So, yeah. Once you have leveled them up to level 2, let's just dispatch them again. So, as we said earlier, we want to do all our bold chocobos to the calm land. Right? Um, all our timid chocobos I've mentioned earlier. Um, we don't have any timid chocobos, so. And all our normal chocobos, we said we would um, dispatch them to Besaid. Alright. That's good. And after this, we repeat the process of fighting seven battles. Um, this is pretty much the exact same process from here on. So battle, uh, fight seven battles, save, talk to Clasco, uh, and see if all your chocobos come back. If they all come back, raise their heart to 100. Um, 
level them up to the next level, like just look at whatever's required. Sometimes, like as you level up more, you will need like different greens. So right now it's Pasana, but if I go to level three, it might require like Mimic greens or um, Silkus greens, right? So make sure you set the ratios um, in uh, in Classical's menu there to to whatever you wish to get the most out of, and you just keep on repeating this process until all your chocobos are level four. And when they're level four, um, I will <laughs> come back and show you guys how to get them to level five and how to unlock the new dungeon that we're going to be working through. Okay, so I'll be back after all that happens. I will see you then. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, I know I would come back when my chocobo were all level four. Um, but I, I actually leveled them up to level 5 and what I did is um, I leveled them up to level 5 and then I dispatched only 3 of them right I only dispatched 3 of them instead of my usual 4 to whatever area like if, if they're bold to calm lands if they're normal to a Pesade whatever right I dispatched 3 level 5 chocobos and I saved my game and I'm now back so um Basically, they will come back, and they will give me stuff. <laughs> Dragonfly orbs. Alright, so, after dispatching these, we exit, or after uh, coming back, we exit, and we get out of the ranch. Leave. Just co exit completely, and... Um, Go out to the calm lands. Then once you're there, you go back in. Okay. And just visit the ranch again. And you'll get this cutscene. Lady Yuna, what should I do? What's wrong? This way, hurry! Chocobos found it. They seem to have sent it one of their own kind. Well? Well what? I bet there's an amazing Chocobo inside. <laughs> but wimpy little me can't go find it myself, is that it? Right on. Yes, that's exactly right. See? Okay, so this is the Rune Depth dungeon that we can go into. Um, but I think I will save that for next part. Yeah. A little bit short, but um, because this dungeon... Now, you can go tackle it right now if you want. Um, because this dungeon is kind of confusing, like the twists and turns everywhere, and you, you're not provided with a mini-map, it could be kind of difficult to navigate yourself th uh, navigate yourself through the through that dungeon sometimes. Um, what I suggest is you put on a charm bangle and you just like look at a map somewhere online uh, and just find your way. Or what you can do is stay tuned for my next part where I show you how to navigate through this dungeon. Thank you guys very much for watching this episode of Final Fantasy X-2. We will see you next time.